that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horses. <laughs> Cling tight to my throat, alarmed and alone. The storm in my castle, breaking my stones. I guess I'm on my own. It ain't easy. Tell me what's your solution For this poverty and pollution There's talk in the streets tonight about Coups and revolution I just might need to order an execution And it ain't easy being king But I surely miss the kisses of my mistresses and misses when they take my crown away. But don't shed no tears for me, cause I know God in history. Clear my name on judgment day. I done broke my back and trying to keep the peace intact from the hills of Afghanistan to the streets of Iraq. It ain't easy being king. It's just a cold hard fact, y'all. It ain't easy being king. Show is Horses Sing None of It, and our guest is singer, songwriter, producer, and manager. Wow. Mark D. Conklin. Good to see you, Ralph. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Appreciate Welcome it. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So that sounded like a modern politics song. Yeah. Not, to, you know, not enough of those probably these days, but uh, yeah, I was, uh, I don't know if you remember where it, where it came to me, but it was just one of those things I was Thinking about, in fact, I probably wrote that in about an hour, which is very unusual for me. I usually take about a, a year and a half to get a song finished, but that one just, you know, blue song came out and liked it and recorded it, and that was it. Great. What would you like to do for us next? Well, I'm a, I go to Nashville a lot. I write a lot of country songs, and uh, every country songwriter has to have a song about drinking. 
So I'm going to play you one of mine now. It's, it may be the only one about drinking. It's called I Don't Drink Anymore. <laughs> to pieces and prayed I would die I got stoned with my demons when she said goodbye all my friends tried to tell me it'd be different someday I guess they were right Almost everything's changed I don't toss in my sleep I just stay up all night I don't cry when I miss her I just cry all the time Every day since she left me I'm more a mess The only thing better, I guess I don't drink anymore One for green eyes, sweet taste of her lips, and there's one for her long legs and the curve of her hips. Now the burn from the whiskeys, like the warmth of her bed, for me one to remember and for more. Forget I don't drink to feel better Cause there's never enough I don't talk about quitting I gave that stuff up Every day since she left me I'm more of a mess And now I'm ashamed to confess I don't drink anymore Just stay up all night. I don't cry when I miss her. I just cry and I cry. Every day since she left me, I'm more of a mess. I'll never get better unless I don't drink anymore. I don't drink anymore songs got country song of the year the yes the cma independent no what was it i don't know uh, they, they call it, it's only letters it's like the xyz be, a, be, a, be your own byob no it's the uh, ima the independent music award country song of the year it was a song called country live and i produced an artist named uh, cooper boone he's a, a tv chef as it were he makes bad food no i'm only kidding cooper you're awesome and uh, if he's watching he's not watching i won't tell him um but we, we yeah we produced us produced his album and we did this song and, and it won it won the award which was who would have known but there it was. So you do a lot of producing for other artists. I do. Um, yeah, I enjoy it. I like being in the studio. I like working with the uh, studio musicians, especially in Nashville. They're you know probably the best I think the best studio musicians in the world. And uh, so spending as much time as I can down there working with them. Uh, I do it as often as I can. I'm a commuter. I commute about a thousand miles each way. That's quite a commute. <laughs> it, is. it is. What else would you like to share with us? Well, I have a very serious song I'd like to play for you now. Very serious subject. It's uh, called White People. Because uh, I, learned, uh, I learned much earlier in my life that, um, 
there was people that looked like me, and then there was white people, you know. I mean money, like old, their money has money and their children's money has money, that kind of money. And uh, I, I was dating this girl, and, I, and just for, I'll, I won't use her name because I don't want to, you know, she might be watching too with Cooper. Um, uh, her name was, I'll call her Muffy. And so Muffy's dad didn't like me because I was, you know, half redneck on my father's side and Irish Catholic on my mother's side. So he, uh, he didn't like me. And one day she invited me to her house for a party, and that's where it all went, it all went crazy. So I wrote a song about that, very serious. It's called White People, and I'll play that one for you. My whole life I thought I was Caucasian. I checked the box on my college application. But much to my surprise, yeah. I finally realized, well, there's more being white than pigmentation. It started when I first met Muffy Poo. Her daddy owned a railroad line or two. I thought he must be eccentric when he said I was too ethnic. Oh, what's a poor suburban German Irish American middle class mixed breed boy to do? White people, white people. Well, it's more than just the color of your skin. White people, white people. I guess I ain't white enough to think. Cause I don't drive a Beamer or a Lexus. And I don't own no oil wells in Texas. And I don't sing to the riff. Well, I partied with white trashes and rednecks. White people, white people. Oh, well, it's more than just the color of your skin. White people, white people. I guess I ain't white enough to think that. Muffy took me to her daddy's house one night But when he asked if I could wash the cars That's the minute that I knew I was a boop, 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 white people White people Who will I try my very best to feed me White people White people I guess I ain't white enough I guess I ain't white enough to think that. Well, if you think you're white enough, think again. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Good Very one. Politically correct, you know. <laughs> we should let folks know how they can find out about your new recording and your upcoming perfor performances. All that can be found on the interwebs, as they call it now. Uh, that's markdconklin.com, M-A-R-K-D-C-O-N-K-L-I-N.com. All the information, you know, my social security number, bank accounts, everything is on there. Just have a look at it. Give me a call, especially you. And uh, you can find all the information at the calendar, when I'm playing and who I'm working with. And it's, it's, a, it's the modern miracle, the internet. Yes, it is. What would you like to play for us next? Well, I'm going to tune the key of Redneck, which is uh, the old drop D. Uh, a lot of times people ask that, uh, how I, uh, a dazzling urbanite like me from New Jersey, ended up uh, writing country music. And uh, when I was a kid, uh, my dad was a, a big uh, country music fan. So all, on Sunday mornings, we would listen to Hank Williams and Patsy Cline and all kinds of things uh, before, before my mother would make me go to church. So it was like country music and then church. This is, this is why I'm very confused. You see. 
Um, so I, I wrote this song uh, about, about him, and it's called Only When I Laugh. See, I got the mischief from my mama's dancing eyes. See, I got my temper from my grandpa's fighting side. Who I get my singing from is still a mystery. In my streak of reckless will, they say that's just me. But it's clear to everyone. Only when I laugh, only when I smile, you know that he's my dad, you know I am his child. It's a window to his heart, it's a living photograph. You tell me that I'm just like my own man. Oh. old school country solid strong and proud and I was new age rock and roll lazy wild and loud but made for a real mess round the time I turned 18 less like oil and water more like fire and gasoline but the one thing we still had to his heart it's a living photograph you tell me that I'm just like my own man only when I laugh the morning after he passed on I stood inside my father's home his easy chair sat empty as my heart Got my nerve, I took a breath. I sat down where he used to sit and I closed my eyes. And I laughed out loud. Cause only when I laugh, only when I smile, I can bring him back for a little. It's an echo of his heart, it's a living photograph, the one time missing him don't hurt so bad, only when I laugh, I'll always be my daddy's little man. What a beautiful tribute. Thank you. It's a tearjerker. Yeah, I try not to get choked up when I do. <laughs> that must be hard. Sometimes, sometimes. What are you getting ready to do? Well, I'm getting out of the key of redneck. Go back to the <laughs> land of the living. I have one, this one, uh, you'll play with me if you, if you play along in the, in the key of E. 
Um, I was thinking about how uh, there's not uh, too many regular guys left in the world. You know, and what I mean, and I lost my regular guy card, I, I admit freely. Um, my wife made me get a pedicure and manicure at our wedding, and that right away eliminated me from regular guy status. But I was uh, watching, you know, like old John Wayne movies, and I was thinking, remember when guys were guys, you know, regular guys. And, uh, you know, guys whose, whose idea of uh, being in touch with their feminine side means not leaving the toilet seat up. You know what I mean? Regular guys, you know. Uh, and, you know, these guys are gone. So I thought they're, they're fading away. Sooner or later, there will be none left. There'll be, that'll be it. There'll be no more, you know, regular guys left. And uh, so I tried to imagine what it would be like on the day that that happened. So I was thinking out in the future uh, to a church, and I had kind of the Reverend Otis B. Driftwood would step up to the, uh, the pulpit, and he would, uh, it, would, it would something, it would go like this. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the year of our Lord 2048 to say goodbye and eulogize the last of the regular guys He was born with a blue collar in a town they called Passaic. Worked hard and saved his dollars. Man, that dude was so archaic. Yeah, he was on man. And I mean uncivilized. He reeked of beer and old spice. He ate pizza with his hands. A rock the cradle to the grave. And tidy and whitey underpants. Yeah, he was on Yes, my friends here lies the last of the regular guys. He wasn't thrown back like some medieval artifact. And now he's no more like the dinosaur that hangs in the museum. The man you should have seen in never back down cracks his eyebrows. He did not exfoliate. He never had a man purse, a romance or a mandate. Yeah, he was stone dry, and he did not moisturize. Yes, my friends, he lies. He left stuff the day to the guys. Give him a regular guy's soul. good on that harp. Thank you. Good song. Thanks. Another serious one. I like, <laughs> I like keeping, keeping serious as often as I can. <laughs>
I had something to say, but I forgot what it was. It's funny, the same thing happened to me. It was the same exact thing. I was gonna tell you something, and now I can't remember what it was. Well, why don't you play another song? Okay. That way neither of us has to think of anything to say. That's, pr <laughs> that's been my whole life. I don't know what to say, so I write it in a song. Uh, okay, I'll play you one. This is off my, uh, off my latest record. I like saying that. It's off my latest record, like I'm important, you know. And, but even no one knows what a record is anymore. But anyway, here it's called Paparazzi. <laughs> Been hiding in these bushes seven hours or more. Peeking through a window, staring at a door. I had four cups of coffee and a mouthful of dirt. And curled up with my camera, I was starting to hurt. I never dreamed this life for me. Smiling, yeah, there's no need for faking. It's the worst that you look. The more money I'm making, so baby, let's get hot up and chase around in a car. If we're lucky, you crash and we'll both be asleep. 